Coming up on Cardinals Insider. I feel like I was a little bit more nervous yesterday than I was today. Um, you know, I feel pretty good right now, a little relaxed. I'm sure that'll change when, when the game starts, but no, nah, I mean, just overwhelmed with emotions for sure. Mason Wynn makes his big league debut. Plus, the hardest thing to do is get your timing ready for, for the game, especially early on. I mean, that's why spring training's almost two months long and you're having to get a lot of at-bats. It's just something like that is really hard to replicate and that's where when reality is has done a great job, probably the best product that I've seen. Goldie tells us how he gets ready for the season. And later, so I try and catch the ball on the instep of my left foot. And you always want to use two hands. I talk fundamentals with a group of kids. Those stories and more ahead on a brand new Cardinals Insider. Welcome to Cardinals Insider, I'm Ozzie Smith. You just saw the Memphis Redbird reaction to Mason Wynn getting the call to the big leagues. Let's look back on Wynn's highly anticipated debut. Ben told me while we, uh, I was sitting in his office and then it didn't really hit me then and then we walked back to the clubhouse and then whenever he, he announced it to everybody and everybody kind of went crazy, that's when it, you know, I started tearing up a little bit and with all my guys celebrating with me, it was, it was a lot of fun. And I just didn't think they were going to call me up at, at some point this year. I thought it was going to be a 2024 opening day, but definitely surreal. I just didn't expect it to come so soon. I'm just super excited it did. I don't know if you could call it sleep. I didn't I didn't get too much shut eye, but no, nah, I mean, it was, it was fantastic. You know, just thinking about, I feel like I was a little bit more nervous yesterday than I was today. Um, you know, I feel pretty good right now, a little relaxed. I'm sure that'll change when, when the game starts, but no, nah, I mean, just overwhelmed with emotions for sure. Batting ninth, playing shortstop, making his major league debut, and his first major league at bat, number zero, Mason Wynn. Yeah, he was one of the first people I called. Yeah, I, I, I let him know, and, and he immediately started screaming. Wasn't really saying words, just kind of a high-pitched scream for a little bit. But nah, super excited. We, you know, we talked for a little bit. He just wanted to, you know, congratulate me and let me know that uh, I was going to be just fine up here. That's it. Pass the mound up the middle. Wynn gets to it and throws him out. How smooth was that? Me and Jordan talked about this in low A, you know, high A, double A. We talked about us both being up here and, and towing that field together. And I mean. The fact that it's today, I'm super excited. I mean, I know he is. You know, I just want to I want to go out there and ball out. Oh, we've talked about winning the World Series here. So, I mean, for us, I mean, obviously he's a year ahead of me now, but I mean, we want to we want to be here for a while. We want to win. We want to win a lot of games. I mean, this organization historically is, is a very winning organization. And, you know, that's something we want to be a part of. Um, you know, go to the playoffs, have that experience, and win a World Series would be, would be huge. There's a ball that's chopped up the third baseline. That's a fair ball. The throw, not in time. The throw is to the second base side of first, and Mason Wynn has an infield hit for his first Major League hit on Friday night, August 18th, 2023. Win Reality is a virtual reality system designed to help hitters prepare for at-bats. It's great for all levels, including the big leagues. The hardest thing to do is get your timing ready for, for the game, especially early on. I mean, that's why spring training's almost two months long and you're having to get a lot of at-bats. It's just something like that is really hard to replicate and that's where Win Reality is has done a great job, probably the best product that I've seen, where you can actually feel like you're getting in a bat or actually take at bats, track pitches, get your timing, can tell if you're early or late, how the ball's moving. You know, we have the videos, whether it's on iPads or on computers, and but I think the win reality kind of takes it to the next level where it actually puts you in the box. I mean, I'm always kind of working on my timing with my hands, whether it's in the dugout or as I'm watching and doing scatter reports on videos. So to me, this was 
kind of just a continuation of what I was already doing. So I think that was good. This wasn't something brand new that I never thought about. I wasn't already visualizing, you know, the pitcher on the mound or how the ball was moving or his release point or how it was coming in or my timing. So I think to me, this was just a better way to kind of do what I was already doing or to kind of take it to the next level. The first year I was trying it out was watching the Cardinals pitchers before live batting practice and I was facing Helsley. I remember doing that one morning before I was going to face him and it was like one of his fastballs kind of went arm side a little bit and then the next one kind of felt like it went away from me and I was like oh that's kind of weird we'll see if that kind of happens and I faced him he ended up throwing basically both those pitches like man that was exactly what I saw and so I think that made me a believer right away and and it makes sense I mean the, the all the pitches you see on there especially from on the big league side are all pitches that were thrown in a game with the data that's collected so there's no you know guessing that's going on there's also other you know drills that go along with it it's not just like you're you're standing there watching so there's different performance metrics and they're really measuring different things you can work on breaking balls and fastballs different counts um, just different things like that that we're always working on and can really get a lot of reps in a, in a short time or especially in a confined space Straight ahead on Cardinals Insider. But I think it's with all the guys. You know, we enjoy being around each other every day. And that's what you miss the most when you when, when you retire. I join an episode of the Cardinals Insider podcast. That's next. The Cardinals Insider podcast releases on the first of each month during the baseball season. I was the guest for the season finale. Here's a sample. Welcome in 2023 season finale of the Cardinals Insider Podcast as the calendar turns to September. We have saved uh, the best for last this year. No disrespect to our other guests, but Joe, Larry, and I all very fond of the man sitting down in the studio. It's the Wizard of Oz. You and Willie always find each other. He was there, quick change artist in his suit before he puts back the uniform. Superman. Um, <laughs> what What is it that clicked with you guys back in the 80s, and you're still fast friends? Well, let me say this here. I, I think it's it wasn't just... Oh, oh, Willie and I, it, ours was special because he, we, he lived, he came and lived with us. We came over at the same time in 82. But I think it's with all the guys. You know, we enjoy being around each other every day. And that's what you miss the most when you, when, when you retire. You don't miss the competition because you find other things to compete in. But it's the camaraderie that you develop with the guys that last a lifetime because you spend so much time together. And, uh, it's, there's, there's nothing better for the soul than laughter. And so we can look back now at some of the, the funny things that happened along the way, and there were a lot, because you know I got to play here for 15 years, and I think Willie was here six, 15, 16 years. Um, so there were a lot of laughs along the way, and we have a chance to reminisce about those things, and um, we, we, all of us yeah. that grew up in that era, you know, we, 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 we have a chance to laugh together. Well, this has been the uh, 2023 season of the Cardinals Insider Podcast. We might be back in the winter here and there. Maybe some uh, Adam Wainwright final weekend content or some transaction news over the winter. So be subscribed wherever you get your podcasts. Also, check us out, cardinals.com and on YouTube. For Larry Joe and the Wizard of Oz, my name is Brett McMillan. It's been fun all summer. We'll see you on April 1st, 2024 for the next Cardinals Insider Podcast. Hear more from our conversation on YouTube or anywhere you get your podcast. The Cardinals Insider Podcast and the Chatters Box with Kyle McClellan are both available at cardinals.com slash podcast. Listen later, but for now, stay with us. There's more Cardinals Insider after the break. No place takes you in-depth with the Cardinals like our YouTube channel. Get to know the players. Come along for one-of-a-kind experiences. And hang out with personalities from across Cardinals Nation. Plus, we capture the days and moments that make Cardinals baseball so special. Just search St. Louis Cardinals on YouTube and be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. St. Louis Cardinals baseball. There's lots for kids to do at Bush Stadium, including making their own Build-A-Bear. We tagged along with the Michaelis family as they checked out Bush Stadium's go-to place for furry friends. You guys ready to build some bears? Yeah. Have a blast and build some bears? 
We're here at our fabulous workshop, our Build-A-Bear workshop at Ford Plaza at Bush Stadium. And today we're so excited because at Build-A-Bear, our mission is to add a little more heart to life. And today, Miles Michaelis and his family are gonna help us do just that. Oh, oh you love the kitty cat? kitty cat? Miles and his family are gonna stuff some furry friends and we're gonna be able to donate those furry okay. friends to children here in St. Louis, children in need. So we're very excited about this and it's gonna be a very special day. Why don't we add a sound to your Cardinal Bears and you can say, go Cardinals. At Build-A-Bear, certainly we have a special connection with kids and kids at heart. And Build-A-Bear Foundation really is that, has the ability to be able to donate a furry friend to those in need. And it provides support, it provides a buddy at some times. And it, it's really, it's just amazing to be able to see children's faces light up and be able to have that special furry friend. We've had a really special relationship with the St. Louis Cardinals, and it's really fun. This is the only actual build a workshop inside of a Major League Baseball stadium. St. Louis is our headquarters. It's our bear quarters. So we feel a very special bond um, with the Cardinals and what they do. And, it's, and here in the family pavilion, we also have Build-A-Bear Day at Bush Stadium, where we give away um, Build-A-Bears uh, to all the kids on that day. We're celebrating Wayno's storied career by revisiting some of his best moments. Today, we look back on his 2000th strikeout. Yeah, I mean, he, he's again, he's capable of throwing anything right here. He can go back to the sinker away after showing in. Welcome to the club. 2,000 career strikeouts for Adam Wainwright. And he has a seat next to Bob Gibson. Still to come. And you want your hands above your head when you're going to catch a fly ball. I get on the field with a group of kids at Bush Stadium. That's in just a bit. Welcome back. You know, earlier this season, I partnered up with Bank of America to give a group of kids some one-of-a-kind instruction. Here's what the clinic looked like. It's my privilege to welcome you here. You are in for a fun day. So I try and catch the ball on the instep of my left foot. And you always want to use two hands. Two hands. With, with, with this hand above here. I don't want to see any of this. But I'm always one hand. No, no, you're not doing it right. We have this really great clinic with the Boys and Girls Club of St. Louis right here at the Cardinal Stadium. Second rule, I want you to run as fast as you can. Not everybody hears the same speed. Some are faster, some are slower. It doesn't matter. I want you to run like a mean dog is chasing you. And you got to get to that next base before the dog gets you, okay? All right, swing and go. Boom. There we go, nice job. Keep going all the way through, all the way through. Here again, we're using two hands. There you go, using two hands. Fundamentals are, are very, very important in the game. And you gotta be able to catch and throw the baseball if you're gonna give yourself a chance to win. These are Cardinal players here. I'm Jake, good to meet you guys. Hello. You guys having fun? Hello. How are you? Fun? We love giving back to the community and we have an 80 year partnership with Cardinals and what better place to be able to share all that we have here in terms of our partnership with the Cardinals but also the experience that we can give to some of these youth in our community. Today we invested $20,000 in the Boys and Girls Club of St. Louis. What did it hurt? 
it feel like rocks? All right, well now you know why I said optional. You don't have to do it. And you want your hands above your head when you're gonna catch a fly ball. I don't want to see you catching the ball down here, a la Willie Mays style. I'm gonna catch you. Shuffle, shuffle, go. I got a bad leg, I'm still gonna catch you. I'm still gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you. Look, I'm catching. Go catch it. I catch it. The Cardinals hosted a speed painter at a game earlier this season. She produces high quality artwork in a matter of minutes while thousands of people watch. Hey Cardinals fans, please welcome Jessica Haas to the field. Jessica recently won ABC's Gong Show as the fastest speed painter in the industry. Stay tuned in game to witness her impressive performance live here at Bush Stadium. There's not really been speed painting in baseball before, and today I'm gonna get to do that. I am like, <laughs> I'm so excited. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm up here. Jessica Haas is ready. We're giving her 90 seconds. Let's give her a countdown. Three, two, one, go! I got into speed painting because I, I did a talent competition and the time limit was 90 seconds. I really wanted to do art. And so I figured out a way to do art fast. Yeah, put your hands together for everybody. Good job. This isn't the last time you're gonna see this painting. We have a collaboration coming and you're gonna wanna definitely stay tuned for that. Oh, I'm so excited. So keep your eyes peeled. When we return, I'm answering one of your questions. It's Ask Ozzy and it's up next. Tommy, good game today. Tell me, how did you become such a great switch hitter? Um. Batting cages. Big fly, Tommy Edmund. Edmund swings and it's a drive. It's a grand slam. It's time for this week's Ask Ozzy. Sean in Duluth, Minnesota asks, how does the Cardinal Way differ from other organizations? Well, Sean, I, I think when we talk about the Cardinal Way, we talk about basically about fundamentals. Over the years, and certainly the years that I played in the 80s, it was all about fundamentals, and I think it was the one thing that differentiated our organization from others. We were always fundamentally sound because when you come to this organization, you had to meet with George Kissel, now it's Jose Okendo, and, and teachers in the minor leagues like Dave Ricketts. They were people who, when you come to the organization, they talk fundamentals from the basics all the way to the big leagues, and it's taught at each level here in the Cardinal organization. And I think that that's what they mean when they say the Cardinal way. Jose has always been very fundamentally sound. When we played together, you could tell that he and a lot of the guys that I played with had what it was going to take to be good teachers. And uh, he certainly has taken over the mantle of, of teaching young players when they come to the organization, and that's why he's the secret weapon. Thanks for the question, Sean. If you want to submit a question, head on over to cardinals.com insider and click the Ask Ozzy tab. But for now, don't go anywhere. There's more Cardinals Insider after the break. You saw the beginning. Swing, and there it goes. You've witnessed the end. Now relive the magic. Welcome back. We end this episode with Redbird Reels. This edition is all about the dog days of summer and the best plays from August. And a diving stop, great play, and a throw to first to get Nimmo. Tommy Edmond robbed him of a base hit. Garvin sends him high in the air, and it is gone! 
Tough play. Bare hand try. Throw to first. Is in time. Arenado, amazing. Against the wall. Timed his leap perfectly. Carries out to the wall. Newt leaps up and makes the grab up against the wall. Swing and a drive. Tape measure shot down the line. Burleson with a three run homer. He swings and hits it deep to left field and hits that ball out of here. It was 25th of the year. Ortega King picks it up, shovels to first and got his man. Swing and a drive. That's headed for the bullpen. Did he get enough? He did. Osios for the wall. He leaps up. Did he get it? What a catch. Up against the wall. That's it for this episode. You can always catch us online at cardinals.com slash insider or watch full episodes on YouTube. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you right back here next week.